que María de Dios una vez menos ¿eh? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. I know this is the month of love, and what better way to express my love to you all except through a thrilling, scary, and mind-boggling compilation of clips. No need to get all emotional. Enjoy. Right off the bat, we start with something rather bizarre and strange. Take a look at this strange creature. It looks like some sort of bug, but instead of having legs, it uses tentacle-like appendages to propel itself forward. It's not your typical Earth critter, that's for sure. Now, I'm left wondering if we're dealing with some extraterrestrial visitor, or if it's just a species we haven't stumbled upon yet. I want it to be an alien, but oh, who knows, this could actually be some previously unknown animal species. What do you think? Speaking of aliens, let's dive into this intriguing encounter. On the eerie night of September the 22nd, 2004, in the quiet halls of an abandoned office in Rayon, Nuevo Leon, a diligent security guard with a trusty Kodak DX4530 camera embarked on a routine patrol ensuring that all was calm in the deserted workspace. The guard had no clue that the calm he was enjoying that night was about to be disrupted. As he wandered through the dimly lit corridors, a sudden chill ran down his spine. There, in the pale glow of his flashlight, stood a bug-eyed alien. The extraterrestrial visitor possessed the unmistakable features of popular lore, a huge head, black eyes, and a pale humanoid body. As soon as he managed to take a picture of the creature, it fled, leaving the security shocked with nothing but his picture to show of the encounter. What would you have done in such a situation? Now let me take you to the mysterious streets of Bosnia, Europe, where a late night drive turned into an otherworldly encounter. A group of people were cruising through the silent streets, the hum of the engine cutting through the quiet night. Suddenly, they brought the car to a halt. But why? Well, it was because of this, hundreds of birds standing on the road. Now it's not your usual feathered flock, either. These birds seem to have organized a street takeover. No cars in sight, just the road filled with birds leisurely strolling and others standing, fixating their gaze on the approaching vehicle. What were the birds doing there, congregating in the dead of night? And why were they settled on the ground? Is there a reason they chose to abandon the high grounds? If any of you have answers, please share them in the comments section. In this footage, we have strange looking blue clouds that have formed some sort of tunnel to the earth. This looks so strange. Some suggest it could be a portal, a gateway for extraterrestrials to make their grand entrance on Earth. Others raise the possibility of advanced alien technology at play, turning the sky into a canvas of celestial wonder. What's your perspective on this celestial display? A unique atmospheric event, or perhaps a glimpse into the realm of extraterrestrial mysteries? Step into the eerie tale of Han Church Woods, UK, where in the chilling grasp of November 2011, a photo surfaced unveiling a spectral figure of a lady. The ghostly lady in question appears to be wearing a hat. According to the owner of the image, there was no one smoking or vaping around, and before you reach for your skepticism, the image is also said to be 100% original and untouched after being reviewed. This means that there's no digital trickery involved. Images like this make you ponder the existence of the supernatural. What's your interpretation of this ghostly apparition in Handchurch Woods? A genuine paranormal encounter or perhaps an optical illusion with a spooky twist? 
Our next image, which is a trail cam image, captures a rather strange creature. The owner of the trail cam was pretty shocked to spot this creature. It looks like a deer, but not quite. Its snout is longer, almost like an anteater, but not as long as one. What could we be looking at? A deformed animal? Some paranormal enthusiasts believe that this is a skinwalker. These shape-shifting entities can assume animal forms. The belief is that sometimes these transformations don't go as planned, resulting in creatures that appear deformed or otherworldly. What's your take on this enigmatic trail cam capture? A unique and potentially undiscovered species? Or could it indeed be a manifestation of paranormal entities like the elusive skinwalkers? These strange creatures were captured in an abandoned shed in the woods. I know they look alien, but these are barn owls. Barn owls, Tito alba, as they're also known in science, are medium-sized owls known for their unique appearance and wide distribution. They have a heart-shaped facial disc that helps them hear better. These owls live in various places like grasslands, farms, and open woodlands and are often found near farms and barns, which is the reason for their names. Now, these barn owls, with their two feet firmly planted on the ground, do cut a rather unique figure. From a certain angle, one might even wonder if we've stumbled upon intergalactic species practicing their synchronized standing routine. I'm quite sure a lot of people have mistaken them to be aliens. Confession? Uh, I used to be one, but don't judge me, okay? I changed, and I grew, and now I know their name. Our next clip was taken in the Congo. The clip features an interesting experiment where a small rock is connected to an LED light with wires, causing it to light up. In the next part of the clip, two larger rocks are brought together, creating sparks of electricity and fire. This experiment hints at the possibility of groundbreaking technology involving rocks that can generate electricity. The implications of this discovery are fascinating. This could mean potential for innovative applications and advancements. If rocks can produce electricity, it could lead to transformative effects in various fields, offering new opportunities for sustainable energy solutions. Sadly, though, I feel this isn't real. If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more videos like this for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. A hospice nurse is the owner of this photograph. As one of her patients neared her demise, the patient said she was sensing something in the room with her. She was given a small camera to help her try and capture what she was sensing and seeing. When the photo was developed, this is what appeared. A luminous entity in the darkness It looks like a humanoid being with wings. The nurse believed that the patient was seeing her guardian angel coming for her. What are your thoughts on this? This security footage was sent in by someone who noticed something rather odd happening in it. I want you to see this. This is crazy. Ah, you see that, Andrew? A woman appears out of nowhere holding bags. It's the kind of spectacle that prompts us to wonder if ethereal entities are strolling incognito amongst us. You have to wonder where she's coming from and how often she does this. Also, is she the only one or are there more? These are questions that naturally come up when you see the clip. Of course, it could be a case of edited footage, but it is not being proven if the footage was tampered with or not. Until then, Aaron and I believe this might be the real deal. But what about you? This trail camera image reveals what appears to be an alien creature in the middle of the woods, adding to the growing list of reported alien sightings around the world. The intrigue and curiosity surrounding such phenomena have become increasingly commonplace, with stories of extraterrestrial encounters becoming a familiar part of the global narrative. 
The image prompts contemplation on the possibility of otherworldly beings making appearances in our midst. While skeptics may attribute such sightings to various factors, the allure of the unknown continues to captivate those fascinated by mysteries beyond our understanding. What do you think of this capture, though? A potential glimpse into the realm of extraterrestrial existence, or another hoax meant to mock us, the believers in the paranormal? This security camera footage captures a peculiar moment as a glowing orb emerges from the woods, floats across the camera lens, and continues its journey into the distance. Unlike a conventional fire, the distinct characteristics of the glowing orb are evident in the footage. Such unexplained phenomena often lead to speculation and varied interpretations. The mystery surrounding glowing orbs has fueled discussions ranging from natural atmospheric occurrences to paranormal and extraterrestrial possibilities. What are your thoughts on this intriguing footage? A natural phenomenon or perhaps a glimpse into the realm of the unexplained? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Ever heard of the giants or Nephilim that used to live on Earth before we came? At least, that is what some people believe and some archaeologists have found remains of suspected giants. Well, someone noticed this person standing at the edge of the mountain. We cannot see the person clearly because the sun is setting, but you could make out the obvious silhouette of a human, perhaps a man. The owner of the footage believes that it's a giant because looking at the distance of the mountaintop and the size of the person standing there, this person must be very huge. What are your thoughts on this? A potential glimpse at a colossal human or perhaps a play of shadows creating the illusion of a giant? What in the world is this? A woman was seen walking hand in hand with a black-skinned humanoid creature with white eyes, scant hair, and two tiny horns perched on its head. This petite creature is more of a supernatural sidekick than a typical six-year-old. Given the lack of alarm from people in the background, this must be a person in a costume or makeup, perhaps for a planned event, possibly for entertainment, art, or a specific theme. Events like costume parties, theatrical shows, or artistic performances often showcase elaborate and realistic outfits that can generate a mix of fear and fascination because of how lifelike and haunting they present. For a minute, I thought we had to start getting an exorcist. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't. El Nino is safe. While on deep sea research, divers captured this colossal creature lurking in the ocean depths. And what does this aquatic enigma resemble? None other than the famed Mosasaurus. For those unacquainted with prehistoric marine creatures, the Mosasaurus was a colossal aquatic reptile that once ruled the ancient seas. It lived during the late Cretaceous period and its fossils have been discovered around the world. Now fast forward to the present and we find ourselves faced with the uncanny semblance of this long extinct behemoth in the depths. It's crucial to acknowledge that the existence of a living Mosasaurus would challenge our current understanding of evolutionary timelines. Nevertheless, the ocean continues to be an area of continual exploration, harboring many species yet to be fully uncovered and comprehended. What are these strange cloud formations? These clouds are making strange formations and moving pretty fast. Possible atmospheric phenomena that could create unusual cloud formations include the presence of certain weather conditions, wind patterns, or even the convergence of air masses. In the case of forming tornado suspicions, it's crucial to note that tornadoes are associated with specific atmospheric conditions, and they typically manifest in severe weather situations. What are your thoughts on this atmospheric mystery? Do you lean towards a natural explanation, or does the phenomenon evoke a sense of the unexplained in you? Tell us in the comment section.
Back on the topic of giants, a giant three-fingered hand was found in late 2016 in a Peruvian desert tunnel. While some believe it could be a hoax, a physician's report states that the hand is biological and composed of skin and bone. X-ray images uncovered six bones in each finger, coupled with experts approximating the owner's height to be between 2.7 and 3 meters. This means that the finger does not match any recognized earthly being. So what could we be dealing with? To solve this mystery, radiocarbon and DNA tests will be performed to give a scientific spotlight on this perplexing hand. Until then, we can only speculate. What do you think they'll discover after this test? Alien giants or another species of advanced humans that used to live on Earth? Tell us what you think. Take a look at this image, a female amothemus spider and a nest of children spotted in Malaysia. Just look at how many babies there are. Amothemus spiders, also known as tarantulas, are notable for their often striking colors and intricate web structures. Female tarantulas are generally larger than males, and they are known to create silk nests or burrows to protect their offspring. Once the spiderlings hatch, they stay close to the mother for a period, just like in the picture before venturing out on their own. Female tarantulas invest considerable energy into producing a large number of offspring, although not all of them may survive to adulthood. If you walked into a site like this, what would your reaction be? Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send a big tarantula after you now, would you? This footage was taken in the middle of nowhere. There was a road tunnel built for trucks to go through. But hold on a second. As you can see, a truck drives into the tunnel. The video is zoomed out, and we don't see an exit for the tunnel. This brings up many questions. Where does this tunnel lead? Is it a part of an underground network connecting remote regions, or does it lead to a concealed facility that serves a specific function? An ominous function? I guess we'd never know. A security camera captured this strange encounter on the road. In the clip, a white car drives from the right side to the left, and this appears. Did you see it? Take a look at it again. Did you see that? A ghost figure emerges from the left side, approaching the car, but vanishes midway. Now let's entertain the skeptics who might chalk it up to a mere optical illusion or camera artifact, dismissing the possibility of a paranormal encounter. However, some believe that the translucent appearance and purposeful movement seem to defy mere optical illusions. As the ghostly person materializes and then dissipates, the footage leaves us to contemplate the thin veil that separates the realms of the living and the supernatural. What are your thoughts on this mysterious encounter? A ghostly apparition, an optical illusion, or something else? Next, there's more mysterious action, but this time it's in a parking lot. Someone notices a strange creature running fast behind a car like it's on a mission. As it rushes, it goes straight for cover under another vehicle. When you take a closer look and slow down the footage, the mysterious being becomes clear. A yellow, small creature with a humanoid body. It clearly looks alien. The creature's purposeful actions, like choosing to hide under another car, hint at a level of intelligence and intentionality not commonly seen in regular wildlife behavior. What's interesting is that the creature seems to know the person is coming, showing a sense of caution or maybe a wish to stay out of sight. Interesting, don't you think? Next, we have another security camera that appears to have captured a strange encounter. Two men were walking and appeared to be engrossed in conversation as they strolled freely. Suddenly, a beam appears from above, whisking away one of the men in a flash. It reminds me of those scenes from alien abduction movies. His left-behind friend, who noticed this, becomes scared, looks around, and starts to run. 
But where can he really go if there are aliens abducting with such efficiency and speed? This isn't the end of the encounter, however. After a while, the guy who vanished reappears sitting on the ground. He looks around in confusion, appears scared, and proceeds to stand up and run as well. Could this be one of those alien abduction cases where they took the wrong person and returned him, or could they have done something to him, just like we tag animals and then let him go? If this footage is real, then it's indeed very disturbing. Don't you agree? What would you do if you spotted this large spider in your home? This footage was taken from a home in Trinidad and Tobago. Most people say this is a Goliath bird eater, and Julius seems to think it truly is. For those like myself who were unfamiliar with it, the Goliath bird eater is among the world's largest spider species from the rainforests of South America. These spiders are known for their impressive size, with adult females growing their legs up to 30 centimeters. Despite their name, they mostly dine on invertebrates, occasionally capturing small birds, but not making it a regular part of their diet. If this is truly a Goliath bird eater in a Trinidad and Tobago home, it's a bit unusual as these spiders aren't native to the place. Yet the exotic pet trade has introduced various spider species to places where they wouldn't naturally be found. Next, let's journey to Ghana, where we meet Abdul Samed, a man standing at an impressive nine feet tall. Born in 1994 in the northern region of Ghana, Abdul Samed's towering stature is attributed to the endocrine disorder acromegaly. This condition arises from an excess of growth hormone in the body. Now, ponder with me for a moment. Here is a living giant amidst us, and reports of individuals with extraordinary heights echo from various corners of the globe. Could these individuals be descendants or, in some way, connected to the mythical giants that have captured our curiosity? Or is it really nothing more than just an endocrine disorder as stated earlier? Share your thoughts. Take a look at this terrifying encounter. This boy went out in a field to pick a log on the ground. As he stands after picking up the log, he seems to have seen something that spooked him. The poor boy dropped the log and ran out of there as fast as he could. But what could he have seen that scared him like that? There in the trees ahead, a strange creature crawls out. It doesn't resemble any animal I know of that has this ghost-like appearance. What could that be? Searching for answers sent me into a frenzy where I scrutinized the footage several times. After doing that so many times, I arrived at a conclusion. The footage isn't real. Well, that's at least my conclusion. What's yours? There are no indications of this footage being edited, so what in the world is going on? As you do that, please help me solve this puzzle. A trail camera set in Flatwoods, Kentucky, captured this, a hazy photo of a strange creature. There are many speculations that this could be a mountain lion, a dog, or a coyote, but the paranormal fans hold a different opinion, saying it could be a skinwalker. While the photo's haziness leaves room for interpretation, the diverse range of opinions mirrors the challenge of identifying creatures in the wild. And... This man was staying over at his friend's house when they began to hear noises from the backyard late at night. The property they were in was close to the woods with only a wired fence separating the backyard from the forest. As he went there to check it out, thinking it could be some sort of animal, he found nothing. Still, in the middle of inspecting the place, he heard the scream again. And it was standing, we think, right in this where I'm standing right now. And my friend's inside right now, but I'm getting this footage. And did you just hear that? That was fucking it. Oh. But he was not sure what it could be. So he ran back inside the house for safety. He soon found out that he was not the only one who had heard it, and all the others who had heard it had different explanations for them. Some said it was a mountain lion, others said it was a fox, while the paranormal community believe it was a skinwalker. 
Personally, I believe it could be any of these, and I also think it being a skinwalker would be a cool touch, but that might just be me avoiding the facts and stepping into my world of fantasy. What do you personally think of the mysterious Night Symphony? And... Our next clip is footage taken from two guys in a car who were driving through a forest fire. As our daring duo navigates through the forest, flames dance menacingly on both sides, casting an apocalyptic glow on their surroundings. The heat intensifies within the confines of their vehicle, and the reality of being caught in the heart of a wildfire sets in. The tension in the car is palpable as one of the occupants expresses concern about the escalating temperatures. Yeah, we can't get out. I'm getting out. You we can't drive back. With, I can, we can. The inferno seems unyielding, and the prospect of escaping its clutches becomes increasingly daunting. In the face of such adversity, the men find themselves at a critical crossroads to stay inside the relative safety of their vehicle or to brave the scorching surroundings outside. At the end of the footage, we're left in suspense. Did they emerge unscathed from this fiery ordeal, or did the relentless flames claim their victory? Here we have another Bigfoot sighting taken from Utah at Payson Canyon. A man went to the canyon to film the river there when he heard some noise coming from the woods behind him. So he directed his camera toward the noise, and that is when he saw it. A huge beast strolling through the woods. A Bigfoot. This footage was taken back in 2015. However, the videographer did not have the courage to share the footage, thinking people would criticize it. He later mastered the courage years later and sent the footage to a paranormal group that then posted the footage. Seeing it now, what do you think of it? Cruising along the wooded outskirts, a family's routine drive took an unexpected turn when their eyes caught sight of a peculiar figure hiding among the trees. The creature, towering in stature, nearly matched the height of the surrounding trees, leaving the family in awe. It seems to have dark fur and moved from one tree to the other, almost as if it was looking at the people, and then it crouched down. The resemblance, as you rightly noted, points towards the legendary Bigfoot. The hulking silhouette and dark fur align with the iconic descriptions associated with this elusive creature. What do you think? Asian hornets, scientifically known as Vespa velutina, are a species of hornets native to Southeast Asia. They're quite troublesome in the ecosystem, and there are times when there is a need to take action against them. In this footage, we can see a man in protective gear baiting the hornets with meat. These creatures are carnivores. They feed on bees and other insects and may also consume other sources of protein when available, as you can see in the footage. One of the men ties a white plastic bag on a hornet and leaves it to fly to its hive. Then they track it by following it. The white plastic makes it easy to track. When the man gets there, they dig out the hive and collect all the workers into a container, then go ahead to destroy their eggs, larvae, and queen. This is done to manage the population of invasive Asian hornets, which pose threats to local ecosystems and honeybee colonies. Scary, huh? A trail camera set in the woods was capturing a raccoon eating. Nothing unusual to be spotted on a trail cam. However, as the raccoon is moved from the camera toward the darkness of the woods, something strange happens. An orb from the sky begins to descend toward the direction of the raccoon. When you look carefully, you'll notice that even the raccoon stops to look at the orb before scurrying into the darkness. What could this luminous orb signify? Was it a mere firefly flickering in the night, an unidentified flying object weaving through the cosmic expanse, or perhaps something beyond the grasp of our understanding?
While out at sea in a seemingly minuscule boat, the last thing anyone would want is a surprise visit from a shark, while the individual in our next footage was not so lucky. Ah! Tiger shark! The individual on your screen was so shocked when a shark came out of nowhere and bumped its head into his boat. I'm no shark expert, but this shark looked like the ones that eat people. Miraculously, the man managed to maintain his balance and avoid an unexpected dip into the ocean. Looking at what could have happened, this is certainly nothing but a stroke of luck for the boat rider. This footage reveals the presence of a worm in someone's eye, a parasitic invader that has infiltrated the cornea. Identified as Ancanthamoeba parasites, these microscopic organisms target the transparent covering of the eye known as the cornea. The consequences of such an infection are not to be taken lightly. Acanthamoeba keratitis can bring about severe pain and in some instances result in the loss of vision. Strikingly, while this infection can infect anyone, it's most commonly associated with contact lens users. Weird, right? Next, let's take a look at what I like to consider one of nature's show-offs. In broad daylight, this strange thing happened. There was water pouring from the sky at just a small part of the street, and when pedestrians looked up to check who or what could have been pouring the water at that specific spot, they realized it was from the sky. It was just rain. This was an interesting occurrence by all standards. Sometimes during a rain shower, clouds might be unevenly spread, causing rain to fall in one area while leaving another dry. This can happen because of the way clouds form and move, leading to localized rain in certain spots, even in broad daylight. While what I just described is an occurrence we have seen several times, this particular one is just new and quite frankly, a bit scary. Do you think the footage is real, or could there be some digital manipulation ongoing? Share your thoughts in the comments section, as always. The idyllic setting of a sunny beach took an unexpected turn as a beachgoer stumbled upon the perplexing sight of a mysterious creature's carcass. However, the remains were severely crushed, rendering the identification of the creature a challenging puzzle. In the absence of clear features, speculation runs wild. The possibility of it being the remains of a dog that met an unfortunate fate at sea emerged as a plausible explanation. As we sift through the sands of speculation, the identity of our beachside enigma remains shrouded in the mysteries of the sea. What do you think of the whole thing? As always, please do share your thoughts with us. If you thought today's episode couldn't get weirder, this footage might just prove you wrong. Take a look. When the footage first started, what came to mind? I certainly couldn't be the only one who thought it was a possessed moose, but is it though? Well, the footage ends before we can confirm that detail. But the way its eyes glow in the dark and the way that it has its head tilted, you don't need to be a zoologist to know something is wrong. While it could just be the darkness playing tricks on us, I want to believe there's something ominous happening here. What do you think? On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now before I send that creature after you. On a more serious note, it really helps us out a ton and gives us the opportunity to keep making these videos for you. So please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. A man in the woods in the middle of the night was being stalked by a creature. He began looking around with his camera when he caught sight of his stalker, a creepy entity perched on a tree. The creature looked pale and emaciated, its eyes eerily glowing and its mouth was open wide. This creature looked like it was ready to pounce on the man. In a bid to escape this spectral pursuer, the man made a frantic run for it, leaving him and the rest of us questioning what could be lingering out there in the night. Whatever that creature was, it didn't look like your usual forest dweller, don't you think? Nature can be very unpredictable. 
In a captivating piece of footage, the ordinary, tranquil setting of a river becomes a stage for a mysterious spectacle. As the camera captures the scene, the riverbed beneath the water's surface rises. The water, usually a placid mirror reflecting the sky, gives way to a hidden force sculpting the riverbed into an otherworldly display. Why did the ground under the river suddenly rise? Could it be because of movements deep in the earth, like a hidden dance of rocks and forces, or is there an invisible and otherworldly being shaping the landscape as it pleases? Share your thoughts in the comment section. What the fuck is this? In the hushed stillness of Appalachia, a man ventured out from the shelter of his house, drawn by a mysterious cacophony that had infiltrated the tranquil night. The ambient sounds, initially indistinct, metamorphized into an unsettling symphony of screeching and the haunting bleeding of a goat. This. The disconcerting nature of the sounds sparked a chilling question in the man's mind. Was this an encounter with a mythical being? A skinwalker, perhaps, shrouded in the legends of the region? The elusive skinwalker said to possess the ability to assume various forms, embodying the eerie tales passed down through generations. Alternatively, a mere human element infused the night with a palpable sense of concern. Could the distressing sounds be the desperate cries of a person in trouble echoing through the Appalachian landscape? The man, not knowing what it could be, ran back inside for safety. What would you have done in this situation? In a harrowing encounter in the woods, a man found himself being pursued by a bear. Faced with a life or death situation, an unconventional idea struck him, offering the bear a slice of pizza as a form of compensation. Remarkably, the unusual strategy proved effective. The bear, enticed by the unexpected gesture, abandoned its pursuit, opting instead to accept the peace offering in the form of a tasty slice of pizza. Who knew bears loved pizza? And remarkable, as remarkable as this footage is, however, don't ever try to feed a wild bear pizza. You may never live to tell the tale. In the heart of the woods, a man's night took a chilling turn when he stumbled upon a pair of red, glowing eyes fixated on him. Terrified by the encounter, he was convinced that what he witnessed was a dogman, prompting him to share the eerie sighting online. However, a debate ensued among those who sought to interpret the mysterious glow. On one side, the proponents of the dogman theory stood firm, convinced that the eyes belonged to a creature of the night. On the opposing side, a contrasting perspective emerged, the notion that the red glow was, in fact, the taillights of a black car concealed in the woods. Both theories hold merit, each offering a plausible explanation for the unsettling sight. So what side are you on, Team Dogman or Team Car? Humans have always demonstrated a remarkable ability to adapt to their surroundings, and camouflage has played a crucial role in various contexts, especially in military scenarios. In this intriguing footage, we witness the art of human camouflage in action. The clip showcases the utilization of a concealed compartment beneath the ground, allowing the individual to appear and disappear with remarkable speed. In the next clip, you can see some trees on a hill, and from the trees, a man walks out covered in leaves. From his dress, he's likely a soldier engaged in training or on the battlefield. You'd never have guessed that he was even there. The video captures the fascinating ways in which humans harness their creativity to overcome challenges. In this footage, a group of men stumbled upon a perplexing sight, a strange creature on a rock. It exhibited characteristics reminiscent of black goo and displayed autonomous movement. 
In their attempt to unravel the mystery, the men resorted to using a knife, hoping to gain insight into the nature of this peculiar substance. However, the material proved resilient, reattaching itself after being cut. The baffling behavior raises questions about the origin and composition of the substance. I mean, there's no substance on Earth that looks like or behaves like that, unless of course the symbiote from Spider-Man found its way into our dimension. During an exploration beneath a bridge in North Dallas, an adventurer was taken aback when he noticed movement in the shadows. Investigating further, he encountered a humanoid figure hastily making its escape. While the details captured were minimal, it appeared to possess arms and legs akin to a human. The speculative theories surrounding this encounter range from skeptics suggesting the possibility of it being a rake to others pondering if it could be a Bigfoot. Some even suggested it could be a homeless man. The limited glimpse of the figure fuels the mystery, leaving the true identity of the humanoid creature shrouded in uncertainty. I'm tempted to lean toward it being a homeless man or a hoax. What about you? Venturing into the woods of Mikado, Michigan, a hiker captured an unsettling symphony of strange vocalizations from the depths of the forest. The sounds, which were similar to piercing shrieks, reverberated through the air, creating an eerie atmosphere that left the hiker puzzled. Not fitting the familiar cadence of human or animal calls, the question arises. What mysterious creature could be responsible for such otherworldly vocalizations? Imagine getting a foot massage from a masseuse named Nibbles. Well, now imagine this masseuse also being a gator that can easily bite your toes off or at least take a chunk out of your foot. That's the exact situation with this man and his bizarre choice for a masseuse. Am I the only one who finds the whole thing crazy, or do you guys think it's cool? Whatever you guys think, I believe this man is one of the luckiest ones alive to be playing with a very dangerous animal and getting away with it. Whatever you do, don't ever attempt this at home. You hear me? Keep your limbs safe. Thank you. If you've made it this far, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. <laughs> In the animal kingdom, it's an eat-or-be-eaten rule among carnivores. However, when it comes to a family of animals against one predator, they never leave a home behind. In this footage, we can see a lion lunging at a hyena. The hyena tries to get away, but the king of the jungle is not ready to let a disrespectful subordinate get away, so it keeps jaws locked on the neck of the poor guy. Meanwhile, there's an audience of hyenas standing by, but keeping a safe distance for fear of their lives. However, they notice that their friend would not survive, so they decided to help. They start to gather around the lion, clawing and biting at it. As they get more aggressive, the lion lets go of the hyena in its mouth to fight back the rest. But seeing that there were many and this was an unfair fight, it decided to give up. I have a feeling that the poor hyena won't survive for much longer. Nature is indeed brutal. But long live the king. Children can be silly at times, but they are also very vulnerable, requiring our constant attention. On a seemingly normal day, a parent left her child to play, only to notice something unusual during the child's playtime. The little girl held a rag doll in her hands, giving it a kiss, before unexpectedly submerging the doll in the mini pool she was playing beside. Considering she is just a child, one might wonder where she could have learned such behavior. Some in the paranormal community were quick to state she might have been possessed, but I don't think so. She might have learned it through a show or movie. Please keep our eyes on our kids, folks. The world is already messed up. 
Next, we have footage that's sure to weird you out. Take a look. In the footage, we see a group of deer standing together, obviously grazing. But tell me why this particular one seems to be standing upright on its hind legs while the other two are lifted in the air. It's almost as though they were on some invisible platform. If that's not weird to you, well, then I don't know what is. Sometimes I feel like as the years go by, animals keep getting weirder and weirder. Just what is this? Is it some kind of flex pose or is this creature possessed? What makes it worse is that the rest of the deer don't even seem phased by this one silly deer. In this clip, we're introduced to a massive wolf with dark fur and distinct white patterns. The whispers of folklore echo in our minds as we lay eyes on this colossal wolf. Some say it bears a resemblance to the legendary Wahila, or as some love to call it, the Saber Wolf. Legends have often described the Wahila as a creature larger and more aggressive than your typical wolf. I know, scary, right? Looking at this creature's size, demeanor, and characteristics, I believe that they align with the descriptions in these myths. Yet, amidst the awe and wonder, there are some in the paranormal community who question its authenticity. I, for one, am not one because I believe I've set my eyes on the Saber Wolf. What about you? While at a camping site driveway with her daughter, a woman saw what she thought was a human on the top of a mountain. She pointed it out to her daughter, but she didn't see it, so she decided to take a short video. Back home, as they reviewed the footage, a sharp wave of disbelief washed over them. There, standing tall on the mountain's peak, was none other than Bigfoot, a creature of legend believed by some, doubted by many, now caught on camera. Zooming in for a closer look, they were able to discern the creature's colossal size, distinct strides, and telltale hints of fur which left no room for doubt. Shocked at their discovery, they decided to share it with the world. What do you make of it? In a perplexing situation, a young boy adamantly rejects the placement of a cross in his room, expressing his discomfort through screams and pleas for its removal. At such a tender age, children often mimic what they observe, making it challenging to discern whether the child's reaction stems from a movie or if there's a more unsettling explanation. The eerie question looms, is this a mere imitation of something seen on screen, or could there be a more mysterious and unsettling undertone? The hope, of course, leans towards the former, as the specter of possession becomes a disconcerting consideration. <coughs> In an unexpected discovery, a curious individual stumbled upon what could only be described as the Bat Cave. For reasons known only to her, the girl decided to open a sewer, and the side she was greeted with left her screaming. Bats hanging all over the walls transformed the underground space into an unexpected haven reminiscent of a certain caped crusader's secret lair. One can't help but think that Batman might just be taking a break among the winged denizens of this underground world. Oh, full of bats. This next footage was taken by a YouTuber in an abandoned mine tunnel. He'd gone exploring with his dog when they came across something. There, in the depths of the darkness, a strange dark figure looks to be approaching. The figure was huge, its head reaching the top of the cave. Without wasting much time, he makes a run for it with his dog in tow. Watching the footage, I can't blame him for acting as such. In fact, that's the only rational thing he did in the footage. I'm not being harsh, but why would you go exploring an empty cave with your dog alone? You know what? Let's move on to the next one. Hopefully, this whole thing is a prank and they were never really in mortal danger. 
When it comes to dolls, I have a bittersweet feeling about them. They are fun to have, but when I remember Annabelle and Chucky, I'm not so sure if we're safe to have them around. Here we have a man who was on a treasure hunt in the woods when his metal detector picked up something in the ground close to a tree. The curious man went ahead to dig this thing out, but what he saw was rather puzzling. It was a doll's head with strange red markings on its face that made it look like something that was used for a ritual. Despite the eerie atmosphere, this man had no issues tampering with it. As he was inspecting the doll's head, he noticed an opening in the neck that led him to a treasure of coins. I guess he did find treasure after all. Something doesn't however sit right with me about a doll's with a head stuffed with coins. Am I just being paranoid or is he being too reckless? Share your thoughts in the comments section. The mysterious behavior of clouds in the sky as captured in this footage adds another layer of intrigue to the unexplainable phenomena we often encounter. Unlike typical cloud formations, this patch of clouds exhibits unusual movement and shape-shifting, deviating from the norm typically associated with clouds. In trying to understand this phenomenon, one might consider various factors such as atmospheric conditions, wind patterns, or even the possibility of an unconventional cloud formation. However, without more context or scientific analysis, we're left to our imaginations and speculation. Do you have any explanation? Share it with us in the comments section. Before we move on in the next video, just another reminder, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now. I wouldn't want to send a Bigfoot after you. And don't forget to share with your friends and family as well. Thank you very much. Tales of Bigfoot have been popping up all over. We don't even know if this creature is mystical or real. Here we have another one of such pieces of footage. This person started recording when he saw what looked like a giant ape walking on two legs in the woods. The creature was oblivious to the recorder as it moved among the trees. Fascinated by this experience and the fact that he was able to actually record and capture it, the individual posted it online. From what we can see, the creature clearly resembles a Bigfoot. But there are some people who go the extra mile to fake such encounters through CGI or using costumes. However, there is something about this footage that makes it feel genuine. What do you say? Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode, embarking on a daring quest to uncover the secrets of a rumored anaconda, a group of brave souls ventured to a lake determined to unravel the mysteries of this colossal serpent. As they approached, a discovery awaited what appeared to be the snake's lair, a place where their curiosity met the unknown. One of them used the paddle of the boat to poke inside and out emerged the Goliath snake. Looking at the snake, one could tell it hadn't been too long since it had its dinner. That also explains why it didn't attack the boat. You might be wondering what we have here. Allow me to introduce you, my friends, to Madame Waterbug. Despite their small stature, waterbugs are expert swimmers. Their legs are adapted for paddling, allowing them to navigate through the water with surprising agility. Some species can even capture air and carry it with them, essentially creating their makeshift scuba gear, enabling them to stay submerged for extended periods. Waterbugs are skilled hunters. Their specialized front legs are designed to seize and hold onto their prey. Once captured, they use their piercing mouthparts to inject enzymes that break down the insides of their unfortunate victims, turning them into a ready-to-consume soup. So while they may be small, these water bugs are a testament to the fact that danger comes in all sizes, and whatever you do, don't ever try to pick one up. The tranquil woods can often be a haven of serenity. For the individual who sent this footage in, that tranquility took an eerie turn when he stumbled upon an unsettling sight. 
There you can see what looks like a little girl wearing a blue dress with pigtails running. A child running alone in the woods should be the least of your problems in this situation. As you look closer, there seems to be something off. The way she's running is inhuman, as if she is hopping. Slowing down and turning her head, the entity revealed a visage that defied the norms of humanity. The semblance of a child faded, replaced by an uncanny transformation reminiscent of an animal donning the guise of a young girl. Could that have been a shapeshifter? Share your thoughts. Living in close proximity to the woods, the woman who sent this footage experiences a series of unsettling visits from a mysterious dog. To prove she wasn't crazy, she recorded one of the visitations and you are one of the first few to see the footage. This canine visitor regularly stands at her window, gazing at her through the glass. During the day, it looks cute, but by night, things take an ominous twist. Growling and taunting, it seems to have transformed into something beyond the ordinary. The unsettling possibility arises. Is this a possessed creature or perhaps a skinwalker? Sensing the potential danger, the woman wisely remains in the safety of her room until morning. According to her, by that time, the creature disappears and returns in the afternoon looking all cute again. She suspects it might be a skinwalker. But what do you think? As if we haven't seen enough weirdness today, this next footage shows up in grand style. A woman filmed this strange situation. She is in a car stuck in traffic with the rain falling and the wind blowing. But that's not why she recorded the footage. Do you see why? Tell me you also see the car on the other lane is stuck mid-air. How is this even possible? There are no indications of this footage being edited, so what in the world is going on? It's like whoever is in charge hit the pause button on reality. Is this another Matrix glitch or a visual trick I've yet to figure out? Share your thoughts. Ever experienced a real-life Matrix glitch? Well, here's a bizarre one for you. A man walks into his kitchen only to find a drop of water suspended in mid-air beneath the faucet. Now, before you dismiss it as clever editing, hold on. The man decides to put the glitch to the test. He swipes his finger through the suspended water, and lo and behold, it falls on his finger like a perfectly ordinary drop. These surreal situations fuel the belief in a cosmic simulation. Are we merely players in a grand virtual reality, or is this just a cosmic hiccup on this reality-defying phenomenon? What do we have here? Someone videoed this strange moment during a rainstorm. The rain was pouring heavily on one side of the road, while the side the person was recording was untouched. But when you look at the skies, both have rainy clouds on them. So what do you think is happening here? It's like Mother Nature is playing a game of rain dodgeball, and this person just happened to catch the action in full swing. One side drenched, the other side not a drop in sight. Now, over the years, science has brought about many innovations and inventions, some to battle diseases and come up with new technology. Here we have a news report that says the doctors have come up with the first head transplant. This would take a series of processes to make this successful, and will last for 36 hours and a total of 10 medical staff to get this done. It starts from freezing the body and heads to a specific temperature to prevent it from dying. Then decapitation is done. But they start first with the neck, and when it comes to the spinal cord, they use a special tool made of diamond to curb any damage to be caused. Now the severed head will be taken to its new body, where they attach the esophagus with a special glue. 
The other vessels are also attached and a plastic surgeon comes to attach the skin. After this, the body is put into a four-week induced coma for the rest of everything to heal completely. Everything seems so well planned, but the question is, who is volunteering to do that? I would love to see it, but it looks like such a scary thing to go through. Is this something you could see yourself doing? Tell us in the comment section. And with that, we end today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Before you go, are there popular trail cams you've come across that you think we should absolutely feature on this channel? Please tell us in the comments section. And if you personally have odd footage you recorded yourself, you can forward it to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also give you credit unless, of course, you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.